Hey guys, what is going on everybody? My name is the Dizzy Viper and welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this kind of volumetric lighting or god rays inside Octane. Now I gotta say that this is a slightly different technique than what David Arief showed in his amazing tutorial which you can watch by clicking here. And that is because this is not gonna be a daylight scene but a night scene and um, without further ado let's just go into the tutorial. So as you can see we're gonna try to achieve this kind of lighting or also like this right here, which are my latest uh, everydays actually. So let's get right into Cinema 4D. So what I'm gonna do to show this better, I'm just gonna open up the scene that I used uh, to make this render right here, basically the wall and the window and the room and bed and stuff, and basically just delete my volume and my octane light and my octane sky, which are the main things that I use for volumetric lighting. So without those, um, I can open up Octane now and show you what the scene looks like. So as you can see, this is the scene without any light, except this laptop maybe. But before we're gonna start to actually lighten up the scene, um, I have a quick tip for you. Uh, if you make windows and you want to have details such as scratches and uh, smudges and stuff like that, you might be using polygon, uh, in surface imperfection textures like that. If you use a specular material for your glass, you're gonna end up with a lot of fireflies and a lot longer render times because the light actually gets scattered inside that specular material. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a glossy material, set the index to one, and then uh, put the, your roughness maps in or your normal maps, whatever you're gonna use from for your surface imperfection. And then you're gonna set the opacity to 0.2. That reduces that light scattering by a ton and it doesn't really make any difference in this case. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna darken the scene by just adding an HDR environment without any texture. So it's gonna be black. Next I'm gonna add a area light right here, like this. And what I learned from David Arief's tutorial is actually um, the smaller the light source, the sharper or the more defined the god rays are gonna be. So that means our light source has to be very small, like this, maybe, maybe even smaller. But as you can see, that causes the light source to be very dark. What you're gonna do is press this surface brightness button to lighten it up a bit again, and then uh, maybe make it a little brighter even, like this maybe. So as you can see, now we have this, which is completely over brightened of course, um, I'm just gonna put this area light uh, behind my human right here. If you don't have anything covering up this area light, you can also just uh, click on visibility in your area light tag and uncheck camera visibility. So as you can see, this is now our lighted scene without any fog volume. So what I'm also gonna be doing is I'm gonna change my area light temperature to a light blue tone like this. And now, the moment you'll be waiting for, we're gonna add the fog volume. And that is just gonna be a normal fog volume from Octane. Um, increase the voxel size by a bit, maybe like 250. So as for the size of your fog volume, just make sure that your camera and your main scene is covered. So I'm gonna use about 2000 here, which should be fine. Put it a little back so the camera is covered. Maybe 2300 should be better, yeah. I'm gonna make it uh, 1500 tall. So everything is covered as well. And maybe 2000 in width as well. Okay, now as you can see, if we go into our camera, everything is dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my absorption color to white. And then I'm gonna change the density to quite low actually. Something like this, maybe 0. Point, maybe even less. 0. 0.02, like this. So as you can see, my area light is actually a lot brighter than it should be, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, like that. So as you can see, this is actually very over brightened and we don't really have defined god rays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the scale of our area light by a lot and also put the area light further away from the window. So I'm gonna use uh, 725 maybe. Um, and as you can see, this actually makes the room a lot darker and also causes all these amazing god rays to appear a lot more. If you wanna have more defined god rays, you can also make the uh, area light even smaller. But remember, you also have to increase the power of your area light, otherwise the scene is gonna end up too dark. And just in case you wanna know what else I changed in the camera maybe, it's just a camera imager uh, that actually changes my camera response. 
Um, and I used one of my favorite presets, which is the Ektachrome 100 Plus CD um, with a higher gamma and a lower exposure and also some bloom, of course. So yeah, that was a tutorial on how to achieve volumetric lighting and god rays inside Octane. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.